What is up everyone? It is Chelsea here and it's been a hot minute since I've given an update about living in my car and that's probably because I went and I backpacked Europe and I went to seven different countries and I've been crazy since I've been back with work and everything like that. So. Um, something pivotal happened today, which makes me really want to make this video um, But yeah, like I said, so I've been living in my car now. It is now Mid-May almost the end of May for almost five full months now one month of that being in Europe um, I went to Germany Amsterdam uh, I started in Berlin went to Amsterdam then I went to Belgium down to Switzerland over to Budapest Prague Back to Berlin oh I went to Munich in there too and then um, up to Iceland and it was a fucking blast and I fucking loved it and I wouldn't have been able to do it unless I lived this lifestyle and I'm so happy that I do and so that brings me to my point of what I want to talk about today and that is I heard this saying a while ago before I left for my trip for Europe and it said the universe will give you exactly what the fuck you want and then it'll send you a distraction to see if you'll fuck up what it is that you want all right so there was a circumstance that happened about two weeks ago and I'm not gonna lie so I got back from Europe and like it was all cool and dandy to be living in my car because I was going to Europe okay so that happens and I come back and I'm like um do I need like a place to live like what the fuck so I started to think about it and well the opportunity arose that I kind of wanted to get a place and I went and I saw the place and I signed a lease and I was so ready to move in well today I just kind of came to my senses and I was like are you really going to get a place that is going to eventually cause you misery because it, you're not being able to be free because of what you want to do because a I live in Colorado it is not fucking cheap to live here B I like to travel so much that I'm never there and I always work everywhere so I'm never going to be there so I would literally be paying over a thousand dollars a month for a place that I would never really be at and wouldn't really want to like like embrace um, so I decided today that I was going to tell her that I would like to have a mutual rescission of our lease and the conversation it went well I will be say that it went well and so now I don't have to move in there and I get to continue living the life that I want to live and so within this next week I will be driving across the country to go see my sister graduate high school and it's amazing because for me it's also because I have goals of like I want to be debt free by 30 I went to a private school so I have a bunch of fucking student loans um, this car that I live in is a 2017 Nissan Rogue Sport I bought it brand new there was only 57 miles on it so it's all mine um, and you all know how expensive a brand new fucking car is but she's my baby and I like I love living in her like I love going to hot springs and being able to sit in my car and just relax and like lay in the back and like have the windows down and the breeze roll in and be like overlooking the valley or some kind of beautiful mountain range like I absolutely love this lifestyle and I know that a lot of people don't understand it but I do and I understand my purpose behind it because I want to live van life like this is just a stepping stone like this is actually harder than what van life will be for me so for me to use this as a stepping stone to get to where I want to go because the revel's not gonna be cheap um, I'm embracing this journey will I say that this journey has been perfect no obviously not I'm living in a fucking car but neither is living in a house like there's a lot of shit that could happen living in a house too so I'm embracing this journey I will say that I do want to talk a little bit about mental health and I'll probably make another video about this but something that I do want to talk about is I have bipolar depression too cliff notes version that means that I don't have a like middle playing ground I'm either like high strung or low down so I actually had a really bad episode like last week where I, I was in one of those lows. I really went to the top. I was such at a high and it was incredible and I got a lot of shit done. But then I knew that a low was coming after that. And now that I'm diagnosed and I understand that, I feel like a lot of people have mental illness. They just don't take it at diagnosed so they don't work on it. Um, but I'm actively working on it. I knew this lifestyle would come along with something like that. So immediately what I did. I took myself to some hot springs I got some note cards and I started writing out gratitude cards because when you're thankful more abundance will come to you and I embraced it if I wanted to sleep in I slept in if I wanted to do something I did it and it was just I had to take care of me and my self-care and now I'm back and I'm good and I'm like back on my higher side um, well coming back up so I think that's something that you also have to take into consideration that if you're going to live in a car, you're going to spend a lot of time alone, you're going to spend a lot of time driving, you're going to spend a lot of time with yourself, so you really actually have to like yourself 
and then you actually have to work on yourself i listen to a lot of podcasts and i try to better myself and i love growth and my mission is to become my best self and so and to help other people do that so i just enjoy growing and this gives me an awesome time to be able to do so because I want to be debt free by 30. I want to travel 30 countries by 30. I'm now down. I did eight. I want to go to Canada this summer and I can now do that without having to stress about it. And I was literally like, I'm not going to be able to go to Canada if I get this place. And I literally, I went to my storage unit and this is ridiculous. I understand. But I went to my storage unit where I have all my stuff and I was like, I literally stood there before I closed the door and I was like, I don't want to give this up. Like, there's something inside of me that wants to do this, that has a drive to do this, and so I have to do it. So, little moments like that, and last weekend I was like, this is going to be the last weekend that, like, I can just go and go into the mountains and not have to worry about having a place, and that made me sad. Those kinds of things make me sad. I want to travel and I want to live my life, and so this is the way that I'm going to do it. I understand people aren't going to understand it, and I know I feel a little defensive right now, but it's because I get a lot of backlash for this, but, you know... It's the life I want to live, and I want to travel and see the world, and that's my prerogative. So I'm going to do that because I'm going to be my best self, and I hope that you guys go out and be your best self today. Thank you for letting me update you on my journey of living car life and on my Revel Road. Ah, uh, I want to be able... Oh, here's the goal. I want to be able to sign for the pre-order of my Revel on my birthday, August 18th. So I have three-ish months till then. Ready? I'm going for it. Bye, guys.